Hey guys, this is John. I'm doing a review of a new Super Mario Brothers for the Wii U. Um, big difference, of course. This uh, version's in high definition, but outside of that, you would think that it would use the tablet in some interesting new ways. Um, truth is, you can see I finished the game. Um, I haven't played, gotten all the coins or anything like that, but um, these are the... Uh, the uh, the modes uh, most interesting mode to me is probably boost rush um, you really need two players to play um, or you can just run through if you have two players one of the neat things is uh, of course you can play now with your me hit hip hooray and um, anyway you play with me and basically you just try to run through these as fast as you can. Um, if somebody's playing with a tablet, which is kind of neat, is uh, one of my favorite things is while you're playing with the tablet, you can um, you can add modes to it. You can uh, like draw platforms, stuff like that. If somebody else is playing with the tablet, but by yourself, you uh, you can't draw platforms or anything like that. So basically, you just gotta try to get to the level. It does speed up. To tell you the truth, it's insanely easy. <laughs> and as you get coins, it'll speed up the level, I believe. It's just, honestly, it's a good game, and with all the content you're getting, you are getting a pretty good deal. But, um, I have to be honest with you. I don't feel enough has changed. Yes, it's Mario Brothers and it's in high definition. And that's just awesome, to be honest with you. But, well, I'm really stuck. There, I died. But, that was my own fault. But anyway, it's a good game. It's yet the return of Yoshi. But it not, not enough, in my opinion, has changed since, uh, New Super Mario Brothers Wii U edition, so yeah, there's that. And, um, you know, it's, it's a bit of a disappointment. Once I get through this, I didn't expect it to last this long. Um, I'm really stinking it up on boost rush mode anyway, but there's other modes. There's the challenge mode, which is probably a little bit more interesting than boost rush. Boost rush is really nothing more than just trying to get through the level a little quicker while it scrolls across. And I did a pretty lousy job. <laughs> out as fast as it did the last level, which is kind of neat. Um, you definitely, I know I'm using a lousy capture device, but um, you definitely can see that the graphics have been, have, they have been improved. Um, I don't think anyone's going to tell you that they haven't been improved. It's an improvement from new so, uh, Super Mario Brothers Wii and uh, the 3DS and the DS iteration, but it's certainly, it's certainly not um, night and day or anything. It's just it's, it's nice to finally see Nintendo embrace high definition. I've always thought Nintendo has a great art style. Um, so this is probably no huge surprise to anyone that follows Nintendo. Uh, the art style, the, the graphics are very attractive, very clean. Pretty much <laughs> any other standard Nintendo game. Uh, just doing awful here. The story mode reminds me a lot of uh, Super Mario World for Super Nintendo, if you're familiar with that. You probably will enjoy the story mode. Um, the challenges are probably the meat of the game. There are no real achievements. One thing that I think people thought is that Nintendo was going to put in these accomplishments. You can post to Miiverse, but it's, it's uh, not really the same. Um, posting to Miiverse is... Uh, 
it's not really an achievement. You can just be like, hey, I got three stars. Great for me. Or three coins. So, but the challenges are actually fairly, um, fairly fun. I do enjoy the challenges. There's quite a bit to do here, and you know I haven't even done all of them. So let me just let me just pick an easy one. Here we go. You basically just got to keep jumping and get free lives, and just kind of get them all. They, they get they get fairly difficult. This is a fairly easy one, and then I screwed up. Um, but anyway, there are the challenges. There's a whole bunch of challenges. You unlock more as you play. Um, let me go real quick to the story mode. It has an op a world map similar to Mario World. Um, it was kind of a welcome change. Ga the levels are gorgeous. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're in high definition. They are definitely it's an attractive game. Um, you have a return of the, the infinite flying squirrel. Um, I do feel, though, that even though it's in high definition, I'm just going to pick a world, that uh, Nintendo probably could have made it even more beautiful than uh, they did. That's my opinion. Of course, it's got the return of the little uh, big world, kind of a welcome change or welcome return. It, 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 it feeds off nostalgia. It really does. And I, I'm okay with it because I like nostalgia, but... Um, a lot of people are going to say they haven't really changed much, and it's kind of true. <laughs> I'm okay with it because, like I said, I'm a big Nintendo fan, and the game definitely is a gorgeous game. It's a fun game, don't get me wrong. Um, they pretty much took out the motion controls. You can still shake the tablet, um, or you can play with the Wii Remote and shake that. Um, they're kind of the big changes there, but other than that, not a whole lot new. Um, more worlds, still fun. I probably took about maybe six, seven hours to finish the game. Uh, maybe more than that. I would say, yeah, I'd say about eight hours to play through story mode. And I still have a lot of challenges to do and to best my challenge scores. So, got that going for it. Um, the worlds are, the game's actually fairly difficult. Once you get going, it's a very difficult game. But, you kind of know what to expect. There's, there you go. There's, you can post the Miiverse. Let's see if I can find something on the overlay map from Miiverse. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Alright. Alright. Basically, in these things, when you run into them, you got to um, basically get a star and just kill them. Ah. Ah. Alright, and basically you'll get an item from Toad. Kind of similar to when you ran into the Hammer Brothers in Mario Brothers 3. Yeah. So there you go, and you can then use that in the world. Not a big change, but kind of nice. Um, overall, it's a return to glory, I would consider. Um, of course, these, there, there's a Miiverse post. What a worthless one. But there you go, you can see it, people have broke things. Um, there's a Star World, Star Road, just like in Super Mario World. Um, but yeah, it's a good game. It's not a great game. Uh, a lot of people have been really, I think, overly critical of it. It's meant to just be a fun game. There's a ton of stuff, a ton of worlds, um, a lot of variety. There's eight worlds. Um, the challenges really make up for any problems most people would have with the game. So, But anyway, uh, this is John, and I'm going to give Mario World a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, Super, or sorry, New Super Mario Brothers U. 7.5 out of 10 from John. It's a great Wii U game. I don't know if it's worth paying, rushing out to get, but it's a good game. Um, you know, I have seven games, so I kind of am ranking them. I would say it's one of the most fun games I have, but I wouldn't say it's one of the best right now on the Wii U. But it's kind of a must-have. It's an exclusive. It's Mario. It's 2D. It's great. 7.5 out of 10 from John. Thanks for watching.